Rock Bill Tea Report, August 2024. Can't believe it's the last month of summer already. Absolutely crazy. Hope everyone's having a great summer. For those new to the Rock Bill Tea Report, we cover all the major stories in the real estate industry from statistics to major stories. This way you know what's going on at a very small glance and a very small amount of your time. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. We cover a lot of things here, but it may not be specific to your actual market or situation. So we always invite you to reach out in advance. Now, without further ado, let's get into the data and let's see what's going on. First off, we're seeing prices continue to rise. The median existing home sales price has gone up by 4.1% compared to last year. Now, while existing sales are down by 5.4% from a year ago, don't let that discourage you. The market is still competitive, but there's a silver lining. Inventory levels are providing more selection for home buyers and creating increased competition for sellers. For those of you stepping into the market for the first time, you're not alone. First time home buyers made up 29% of all sales. And if you're planning to buy with cash, you're in good company too, as all cash sales represented 28% of all transactions. This trend is holding steady from last month and it's actually up 26% from one year ago. On the financing side, mortgage rates have dropped slightly. While they're similar to what we saw a year ago, the slight decrease could be beneficial if you're thinking about locking in a rate. Inventory is another key factor to keep an eye on. Levels rose by 3.1% from last month and are up a significant 23.4% from last year. This increase in available homes is great news if you're on the hunt for your dream home. So whether you're buying or selling, the current market dynamics present a lot of opportunities. As always, it's very specific to each individual market. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. You're probably wondering, why do prices keep increasing? Is it ever going to end? We talk a lot about supply and demand in this program. There's simply not enough housing to go around. Today, we are going to explore a new angle on why this is. Let's start from the very beginning, construction. Simply put, inflation has slowed many construction projects. You can see on this graph that many new construction starts have been dropping off. New permits are taking a dive as well. Builders look at the numbers and their overall profit potential. You can see their optimism is fading. I was speaking to a seller who was hopeful a developer would pay a premium to buy his property. I felt it was unlikely given the overall scope of the deal, but also considering these data points we are discussing. For this particular seller, an end user would probably be to pay the highest price for his home. To this end, the seller would use the lack of inventory to their advantage. Looking at the Northeast, you can see many builders are gravitating towards other parts of the country. It's expensive to build here, but also this part of the country is very densely populated already. It's still very competitive and lack of new supply coming on will further constrain the inventory. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. Make it a great day and I look forward to